Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Nintega Gamer. Welcome back to some more Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, guys, we scoured planet Iridia, found Skid McMarks and his agent, and now, guys, we're on planet Eudora, and we're gonna try to take out the lieutenant. And looks like they're just gonna flat out just try to destroy the rest of the planet. So that's not good, so hopefully we can put a stop to that. Also, while we're here, a new weapon from the Gadgetron. Ooh, we have the Glove of Doom. Although we do not have enough to afford it. Oh, the Glove of Doom is so cool, guys. Um, I won't spoil what it does until we get it, but it's definitely a cool item. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear all my belching. Um, I apologize for that. Note to self, don't drink Coke before you record. <laughs> nah. I should probably drink water when I record probably better for me and my voice would probably thank me a lot more anyway how you guys doing today yeah how you guys doing today I'm happy to be bringing you guys back some more ratchet and clank sorry about that guys I'm just going brain dead now but yeah I'm happy to be bringing you guys back some more ratchet and clank on this wonderful Friday as you guys are seeing this I'll probably be at Magic City Comic Con Yay! Man, guys, I am so excited for that. I cannot wait. Uh, I'm probably having a blast right now at the con. You guys don't even know. Or rather, I don't even know because, like I said, I'm pre-recording this. <laughs> but, yeah. And also, I'm recording this Sunday night. And it's sad because... I now know there's going to be like no Lego Dimensions this week. Even though in all the videos I've recorded this week, I've been like, yeah, I'm going to make sure Lego Dimensions goes up this week. And it's probably not because we're back to, I don't know if I mentioned this, I probably did. But we are back to school this week, so that most likely means that, uh, that uh, Lego will not be happening anytime soon. So, I do apologize, guys. Because it definitely looks like there is going to be no Lego this week, which is really upsetting to me. Although, it might be a blessing in disguise, because when I think about it... Oh, crap. Ooh, that was close. Um, there may not even be any Lego next week, either. Because I'm going to be coming back from the con Sunday evening. And when am I going to have time to record? <laughs> Because I'm going to be going to church after we get home, and then it's going to be late, and I'm going to need to record Ratchet and Clank. Hopefully my work schedule that week will allow me to, re to record Monday or Tuesday, because I can get a lot done in one evening. I mean, like, hell, I recorded four episodes today, this Sunday, that I'm recording this episode. Hell, I recorded Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, today's episode all in Sunday so I can do that all in a day I can get three episodes tops done in one sitting so I just need the time for it though but sadly it looks like I am NOT gonna have time to get Lego done at all so oh oh that's cool. I didn't. I never knew that. You can switch through your gadgets by double tapping. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's put this one here. There we go. Perfect. Although, I'm sorry guys. I don't think I ever even explained how that uh, thing works. Basically, you have to have all the lights uh, pointing at something, so that uh, pointing at the uh, green, the red, so it turns into green. Did you 
sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester, warhead assembly technician, mutant animal husbandry, robot repair man, suck cannon test dummy, and administrative assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. So with that, guys, I believe that counts as, as uh, um, combating, yeah, the lieutenant. So now we just gotta explore the mills. I believe we can do that right now. So that's most likely what we're gonna do. Wow, those freeze frames are not pretty but um yeah but as ratchet said there himself that's like three gadgets in one level that we, i think we'll be able to attend um be able to get and that's great because those are all amazing gadgets that i cannot wait to receive also we came right out of there perfect um let us buy some ammo for some of these weapons see what about you i'm full on you and eh, forget i don't need to buy ammo i can just pick it up but, um, yeah, that's a, there are a lot of great gadgets there. As you saw, there was, like, a sucking weapon. There were boots that a scientist was wearing to grind. There's a third thing, I think. Although, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. But anyway, so now we're going to go over here, explore this part out of the level. And see what wonders there are to explore. Yaho! Me and my foe. My foe, my fox foe, fake uh, French accent. It is just a secret area. I don't know. Fair way. But yeah, so bottom line for what I was talking about, about LPs and stuff later. So, uh, Lego Dimensions may be on a hiatus for a while. So I do deeply apologize about that, guys. And other than that, um, I am going to try my darndest to keep Ratchet and Clank going and make sure that it doesn't have any hiatuses. Um, I mentioned that I'm going to end up record. I might end up recording on a Thursday, and I am. Um, I'll, I'll, Thursday, I'm just going to be worrying about... Um, oh, crap. Ow. Thursday, I'm just going to worry about Saturday and Sunday's episode. And then hell, like I said, since I can get, whip out three episodes in one in one session, I might try to get Mondays done, so that way I don't have to worry about Monday. What I come home Sunday. But yeah, lots of plans, lots of plans, lots of planning. And um, luckily, uh, school is going to be relatively easy this week. Um, very light week. Just got to go to class. And I think I got a discussion today. So. Yeah, nothing hard, which is great. Oh crap, these guys are blasters. Ow. What an asshole! <laughs> I'm, I'm channeling my inner Gilbert Godfrey, guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Although it still kind of irks me, though, having class on Mondays and Wednesdays and, like, smack dab in the middle of the day. Like, I didn't mention it because I had no idea about it, but, um, definitely want to hang out with Tyler earlier this week. I'm hoping I end up doing it, because, like I said, bulk recording, I, I don't really know. And I should just end up using my blaster at this point, especially on those red dudes, so I don't end up dying. I get the nanotech. Alright, switch to the blaster. We quick, quick to go through the weapons? No, the quick tap is only for gadgets. Alright. Bam, you're done, son. Blaster is so OP in this game. But I guess to compensate that, the aiming is god-awful. 
but yeah. Um, but yeah, I also uh, saw Tyler working at dinner tonight, uh, and I want to say may he said he uh, he came up with a new yarn themed joke for the year. I think I I, I couldn't hear him because the restaurant we were in was packed and people were loud. But I want to say he I want to say he had a uh, happy um, happy craft year instead of happy new year. Wow, that guy sniped me. Happy craft year instead of happy new year. So I, I thought that was pretty funny. Is that we could just you know say whenever? Oh crap, I'm dead. Man, you can barely see their bullets. Like, like mine are big and bright. Theirs are small and tiny. Oh god, that that came out wrong. Oh god. But you can barely. They're like freaking snipers, guys. Although, then again, if I stand at a certain point, I can just spam them like that. So, I shouldn't complain. I'm probably just rushing too fast. Boy. Man, that, that 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 last like paragraph of me talking is basically innuendo city. Die. <laughs> anyway, yeah. But um, there the main reason I'm bringing that up though is because uh, Tyler was like, "Hey, you want you want to hang out?" And I'm like, "I'm free Tuesday and Wednesday, and and I'm working Tuesday and Wednesday." And they were like, "Damn it!" <laughs> so I'm gonna try to hopefully, uh, past me has hopefully gotten. Uh, my day switched around and hopefully I'm able to work the day shift Tuesday Wow, that guy tried to kick me and that way I can hang out with Tyler Tuesday evening and uh, Maybe sleep over at his house only only time will tell <laughs> But uh, I love how I'm talking about this in Friday's episode when this would have been a perfect topic for Tuesday's episode uh, That's my life <laughs> But yeah, because I've not been able to hang out with Tyler very much. We have been very, very busy with like our social life and just work in general. Oh, am I just supposed to long jump over there, leap of faith? Did I explore everything? I think I did. All right, let's go. Let's not play the holotape, please. <laughs> Good lord. All right, let's go. Wee! Oh gosh. Wow, that guy wasn't hard at all. And oh, we got Glove of Doom ammo. I cannot wait to show it off. We have enough bolts for it, but I'm gonna wait until we can get more bolts. So that way we're not just flat broke when we do afford it, when we do purchase it. But yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this LP though. I'm having a blast playing Ratchet and Clank. I'm so happy that I decided to do this game as my next LP. Because I was very worrisome, because I'm like, I suck at the original. The original is also very clunky and has not aged well, mainly because of the way the shooting mechanics work in this game, and there being no like good aiming system slash strafing. Because as I've said it a million times now, it, they perfect the shooting, the third-person shooting in the sequels, and they're just mechanics that are perfect in the sequels that practically make it an RPG. And I just I guess I can touch upon that now to get excited for the future games. But like, um, the more enemies you kill, you gain XP, and you can level up your health, and you can have more units of health. The same goes for weapons. If you use a specific weapon a lot, the weapon will gain XP in specific, and it will level up, and it will upgrade into whole new weapons sometimes. Like for instance, you have a blaster that you need, you know, do you need to tap the button every time you want to shoot a bullet, and when you, once it's done leveling up, it becomes a minigun or L LMG basically okay I'm gonna just stand and blast oh, all poop mad ammo bombs band it's it's amazing okay and this guy I'm just gonna have to walk forward for and then like you have a grenade launcher that shoots kind of like you know the bomb glove but it's like it's a literal weapon and when you level it up all the way, it becomes a mini nuke launcher. And basically, it just shoots more powerful grenades, but it has a mushroom cloud effect. And it looks like we got a new weapon. Sweet. Oh, we have the suck cannon here? <laughs> that was weird. They showed it off in uh, BLT, I think that was what it was called. No, that's bacon, lettuce, tomato. <laughs> Subway, you've polluted my brain. No, but um, yeah, that's weird. Never mind. 
But um, anyway, the suck cannon is literally what it says. It sucks projectiles. Basically, Ratchet and Clank invented the rocket launcher slash, slash junk jet before Fallout did. Literally, you suck in smaller enemies and you can launch them back out as projectiles. It's beautiful. Anyway, now we're come full circle. And I believe we're done with this planet. So let's see. Yep, we're all missions complete. We are free to go to the next area. But yeah, this weapon is amazingly awesome. And its range is really, like, huge. As you guys can see, like, the funnel on this thing. And it also brings in bolts for you, which is really nice. Anyway, Blarg Station. Let's go, guys. So it's just an awesome gadget that functions as a weapon, too. Because, like, literally, I, I believe it's, it's uh, categorized as a gadget. Because I believe you have to use it in some areas to proceed. But I just love it. It's so much fun to use. Anyway, we're in the Blarg Station. We're in our first true outer space kind of level. So this is cool. Anyway... Hmm, judging by that hole in the ceiling, let's go this way first. Oh no, it actually is categorized as a weapon, never mind. Okay, let's get the trespasser out. But anyway, you have to have the green lasers uh, land on a red. Oh gosh, this is confusing. Uh, see, I got two lasers on the end of this. Okay, I just need to... Oh. There we go. But yeah, you just need to make all the lasers land in the right spots. Oh, yeah! Yay! This is also our first example of playing as Clank. Oh, this is so cool. We get to end off the episode with this. Yes, in some areas, like, Ratchet cannot explore. Like, for instance, we are in outer space. We are li literally just... In outer space right now in the vacuum of space ratchet would suffocate and probably implode but yeah we get to play as clank and this is so cool if I remember correctly clank has less health than ratchet or maybe they just share the same amount of health but anyway sadly clank cannot use weapons like ratchet but he has his own set of mechanics as you can see from his little wheel of abilities but I don't think we get to touch upon that too much in this little section, but basically, Clank can do his karate chops to break stuff, and he can hover, although he can't do a double jump, but he can do a single jump to hide in the air. But yeah, but Clank is fun to play with, because it's, it's a neat change of pace, and you know, Clank is adorable. Who, who doesn't want to play as Clank? But anyway, we got these weird alien dudes. We're literally bitch-slapping aliens. <laughs> but yeah, Clank is fun to play as. Although his sections can be a little bit more tricky. But not too bad. Alright, come on. Huh. And whoop! He also moves a bit slower than Ratchet, but that's expected because he's a teeny tiny little ribbit. Ribbit. Okay, we are not supposed to come this way. This is just a little offshoot for money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's say we're supposed to climb this ladder over here. Whoop. Trying to be very careful because, as you guys know, I fall off walkways very easily. So I'm just trying to be as careful as possible. So I'm pretty sure if I die, I get to do this all over again. Nice, and there we go. I, I somehow didn't die. All right, there's no way we're gonna make it up to that, so I'm gonna shimmy shammy all the way over here. Yeah. See nothing over here, so let's go this way. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to step away for a second. Actually, I'm wrong. We get to experiment with Clank's unique ability. Basically, you can recruit these little gadget bots and Clank can give them commands. 
Alright guys, I'm back. Man, Interruption City. Anyway, but yeah, you can give him commands. Wait, follow, attack. So we'll just have him continue to follow us. But yeah, they're, they're color-coded commands. So as you guys saw over here, we have a monster that obviously Clank cannot take out. Because it is much taller than, uh, bigger than it. But with the power of people, we can attack. Or not the power of people, but the power of numbers, we can take him out. And wow, luckily, somehow, all of our little dudes came out of it unscathed. So that's cool. Alright, now we're gonna have him enter this little thingy and open up the door for us. Nice! But that's a very simplistic version of Clank's mechanics. But anyway, let's retrieve this thingamajig. <laughs> Clank's laugh is so cute. <laughs> and you gotta love how he just crams that big device into his chest piece. Ooh, the hydro displacer. That's gonna bring in some cool mechanics later on. And with the name hydro displacer, you guys can guess that it's gonna deal with water mechanics. But anyway, guys, oh no, we wanna go this way. With that, that also is going to end off Clank's section and end off this video. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Ratchet and Clank, be sure to thunderbolt that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!